Milad, have you ever served someone who is deaf or blind? When I used to work at our old subway, there was a deaf family that used to come in a lot. But I remember the first time they came in, I was confused because the father kept pointing at his ears when I asked him what kind of bread that they wanted. At that moment, a 16-year-old Millard didn't know that this family was deaf. But once it hit me that they weren't able to hear what I was asking, I tried to be as helpful as possible. You're probably wondering what to do in a scenario like this, and honestly, I had no idea at the time. So if you don't know either, I don't blame you. I was on the spot, but I quickly realized something. By pointing and showing off the different options available to this family, they were able to tell me yes or no with a simple thumbs up or thumbs down. This was an OP system, and once we got this down, every single time I would see them come into the store, I knew exactly what they wanted. And if they didn't want something that they wanted previously, we would just use the thumbs up or thumbs down and the point method again. Nothing would make my shift better than seeing this family happily coming in and smiling and waving at me. They were some of the kindest people that I would ever see come into the store, so I was always on the lookout for them. I even wanted to do something special for them once because they were always so great to me. So one time on shift, I noticed them coming in to order something through one of the big glass windows up front, and I quickly ran to my laptop in the back, and I looked up some common sign language signals, and in that little bit of time, I was able to learn hello and thank you. The smiles on their faces when I was able to communicate with them through sign language is something that I'll never forget. Even though it was just two gestures, it made a world of difference for me, and I could imagine for them too. And the little boy in the family was jumping up and down so excited, and I may or may not have been holding back tears of joy in that moment, but I've never served somebody blind in my six years as a fast food worker, but I think it would be pretty simple to handle. At least I would hope. I have no idea because I've never done it. But visually, it would be very difficult to decipher what they're exactly looking for. But I think speaking, and especially if they've come into the store before, that would make a world of difference. So we could just verbally communicate back and forth whatever goes on to the sandwich or whatever food product I'm working on. And I actually saw a video once of a blind person who didn't have much trouble at restaurants at all, but the hardest part for him was trusting whoever was serving him. The man told a story once about how he went to a restaurant all by himself and he bought a meal for a little under $20. But when he asked the person who served him to assist and to take the correct amount of change from his wallet, the server ended up taking a $100 bill. I hope that server gets the karma they deserve. But anyways, to this day, I'll never forget that family and the joy that they used to bring to me and hopefully the delicious sandwiches I gave to them. And if you enjoyed this story, please consider subscribing. It helps me out so much.